All right, now let's do Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's your theme for the month of July? Ooh, you're getting to the coin. Uh, okay, so for some of you in the month of July, you may be receiving some type of inheritance from someone passing away. My condolences. For those of you, you may have gone gambling and won in the gambling that you were doing. So congrats to that. Okay, then we have others of you who went and made an investment and you finally got a payout on your investment or you're making the investment, period. Okay. Some of you uh, as well got information on someone that uh, you can't trust. Got information that you can't trust someone, but you're moving past it. You're healing from that. You're not making a big deal about it. You're like, it is what it is. I'm going to distance myself and call it a day. No hard feelings. Thank you for letting me and showing me who you are. So I'm getting really big mature energy from this Capricorn um, energy. I guess some of you could be writing a book as well. There's others of you who may be connecting with your ancestors more. Congratulations with that. Okay, or just basically get in to find out where you come from, you know. Knowing where you come from, that's always important. I see relationships here. I see you taking your relationship to the next level. I see you being focused on your relationship. I see you going away on business as well. I see you starting a new business, going away on business to start a new business. It could be this investment that you're doing. How is it gonna go? It's gonna take a lot of energy from you, uh, this new business venture that you have. So just know that it's gonna take a lot of um, energy from you. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. You know what? I forgot to do Taurus's last word. Their reading was so good. Let me see. Sorry. Taurus. What's the final word for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? What's the final word for Taurus's? Real quick. Sorry, Capricorns. We fall, we break, we fail, but then we rise, we heal, we overcome. So it was just like that Two of Swords energy where it seemed like there was going to be something that you had to cut back or scale back on or doesn't go as planned completely. But like they said, we fall, we break, we fail, and what happens? But then you rise, you heal, and you overcome. So you're going to overcome whatever uh, shortage was there, okay? It's still going to work out perfectly. You'll still be fine. All right. Sorry, back to you, Capricorns. Okay, so let's see the situation. Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on? Okay. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Tell me more. Ooh, okay, okay. You have to figure out what you want and go after it, okay? Continue making your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. You're at a very essential time here in the month of July, Capricorn. You're basically taking a look at yourself and figuring out what you really want what you really want what do you want okay and just know like 
all of the elements are there to help you. Water, air, earth, and fire. <clears throat> you can either sit with a candle, <clears throat> light some incense, talk to the water, okay? Get a crystal. But all the elements wanna help you to figure out who exactly you are at this time and how you can get the things that you wanna get done and accomplished, okay? Some of you need to go check on yourself. You may have magic that have been placed on you. Okay, you may seem like things are falling down by the wayside and not going as good as they used to go. You really need to check on yourself. There could be magic that's being done on you or you could be doing magic on yourself. And what I mean by that is that you're talking down on yourself and making things worse than what they are, okay? You're manifesting, but things that are not in your favor. So stop being um, negative. Don't be negative. Try to have affirmations and say positive things as much as you can, because when you're negative and you think negative, you talk negative, you're only taking from yourself. You're not taking from anyone else. Okay. Yeah. See what else is out there too. Don't just keep your choices limited when it comes to your business or what you have going on. Yeah. You got to open your eyes, Capricorn, and move forward. I see that it's just, I'm getting a really like a lot of kind of stuck, stagnant, complacent energy um really have to figure out what you want what you need your energy is very muddy you know it's, it just seems like it doesn't even seem like you're all over the place it just seems like you're blah you know so if there's something that is just bothering you and you just can't seem to figure out what it is go get a reading because something is not right with your energy. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of water here. So you may really need a cleansing, a spiritual bath. So I would say go get a spiritual bath, um, if anything, just to get yourself out of a funk. You're still doing things that you need to be doing, but you're not really enjoying life. So I would say get a spiritual bath, go get a reading. I'm pretty sure they're gonna advise a spiritual bath because you're really in a funk. Your energy is kind of mucky. Okay. Let's see, Capricorn, what's your uh, message? What's Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising? What's your message? Okay, just felt called to do that. When life gets hard, don't wish it to be easier. Decide to be stronger. Okay? And then here's the bottom. A day without prayer is a day without blessing. And a life without prayer is a life without power. So go ahead and pray, uh, Capricorn. You need to Im implement prayer in your life. Because you're going through a hard time. But something is telling me, like, I've some of you, you don't even know it. You know, um... You're kind of like blinded by it and just continue going, 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 going. Um, so I would say pray, Capricorn, 